ever seen those North Face commercials where someone is summiting a mountain, or they're kayaking down a waterfall, or they're hiking across Antarctica? Yeah, they're pretty intense. Now, I've always thought it would be so cool to film a commercial like that. But obviously, I'm not about to pack my bags and head out to Antarctica to make it happen. That's why today we thought it would be a fun idea to make our own homemade North Face commercial in our backyard. Now, when we say our backyard, we don't literally mean in our backyard. We just mean shooting in locations that are right next to our house. The concept we have for this commercial is to focus on one item from the North Face and show how it can be used in a bunch of different situations, like camping, kayaking, rock climbing, and hiking. The item is actually going to be this fleece that I'm wearing right now. It's by no means a signature item from the North Face, it's just a generic fleece that we thought would work well for this commercial. So right now, we're packing our bags with all of our camera gear, and tomorrow morning we're going to head out bright and early and see what we can come up with. Ta-da! I am currently setting up the Ronin with the Black Magic. Uh, there we go. I'm done now. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> so we're gonna go around to a couple different spots today, shoot some adventure activities, showing off the red sweater and the quality. Let's see the fleece, Mitch. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're telling me to strip on camera. I, I don't know. Well? I, it's for the video, it's not for me. Well, are you sure? <laughs> wow. Oh my, is that the North Face? This That's is, really nice. It's, not, it's the North Face, yeah. <laughs> You want to see a little more, little more skin? Just kidding. <laughs> I was more North Face. Oh my God. Got him. I think we're ready to go. Steven has the black magic set up. I have my trusty hammer here. I'm gonna pound some pegs and we're just gonna get filming. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> That's first shot down. Uh, now a bunch more to go. <laughs> Out of the dirt there. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what we do for every video, but we have a storyboard or a shot list. Um, so we can refer back to the shot list and we know exactly what we're supposed to be getting. What are you doing on the ground there, Steve? Um, <laughs> I'm on the ground because the uh, Black Magic doesn't have a flip out screen. So in order to see what I'm doing, I kind of have to get like my face in the dirt <laughs> and grasp up my nose. This is before, this is after. We're gonna record the final shot of putting in the tent where I finally finish putting in this one peg and then I go over, kind of adjust the tent and then we'll cut it right there and move on to the next action. Just trying to get some foreground element here. Wow. <laughs> no way. This literally looks like a North Face ad. This is perfect. Okay, so we moved on to the second activity, which is hiking. Look at him go. Um, we're just gonna be getting some cool shots up this trail and uh, see what it looks like. Parkour! <laughs> <Okay>. That's enough. <laughs> and down. This is like when, when you're getting ready to go rock climbing. <laughs> he comes in, hooks you up, he's like, yeah, yeah, does the tug, you're good to go. <laughs> and walk. There is no way that looks good. <laughs> There's no way. How's the view? It's just great. So many houses, love that. <laughs> we just threw the drone up in the air. Steven is getting a really good shot. He is framing out the houses so you can't see anything. We look like we're in a forest with a nice peak and a nice lookout. So since we're on the mountain, you can see kind of like the parallax of all the other mountains in the background. Oh, wicked. Just start walking to the edge. Okay, so we just wrapped up with the hiking scenes and I think I can retire this old backpack here with nothing in it. Um, next up, we're gonna move on to bouldering and kayaking. So we have to go pick up both the bouldering pads and the kayaks. So we'll meet you guys down by the water. Okay, so the other guys are just carrying the kayak and I have to say, I've probably got the most difficult job here. I've gotta get vlog content for you guys, so. 
Okay, we got the kayak to this really cool spot. It honestly doesn't look anything like where we live. It looks kind of tropical, but it's perfect for the video. So we're gonna get a few clips of us carrying the kayak down. So early this morning, I was lying in the grass and I said something stupid about ticks because it's like prime tick season right now. So I'm currently face in the dirt and I just realized it's like prime tick season. I was totally joking. Anyways, Mitchell just looked on his leg now and it turns out that he has a tick on him. He has a little friend on his finger. Scary. I was looked down and I was like, oh, what is that? It's like a scab. And I was like, let me look at that. And it was, it was stuck on there and I had to kind of flick him off. Oh my God. Yeah, okay, buddy, you're dying. <laughs> If you could survive that, I'd be a little surprised. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we just got a shot of Mitchell putting the kayak down, just about to push it into the water. I got a shot of his hand on the little tie or whatever. And now I'm gonna go up to the top of that hill there and then you get a wide shot of him just kind of leading into the water and just about to kayak away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him to it. Go for it. Oi, that looked good. Oi. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Bye, Mitch. We sent Mitch down the shoreline to get a nice following drone shot. We got the Mavic 2 Pro up in the air. It's looking pretty good. Didn't go in the water, which was fantastic. <laughs> Another day above water is a good day. <laughs> Okay, so the bouldering spot we want to go to is just down the shore. So Steven is going to take the boat for a little paddle up. Well, me and Mitch are uh, getting little pack mules here and going along the shore. Okay, quick update. We found the spot where we are going to do the bouldering. The spot that we originally thought of is actually just around that corner. So we just kind of retreated a bit, found this wall here, which is gonna be just plenty for making it look like we're bouldering. We're not actually bouldering. Um, Steven and Tommy there with the kayak. And uh, I think we're just gonna get down to it. So things are turning out in our favor. If you don't know what these are, these are called bouldering pads. So we'll set them up here in case we fall while we're doing our rock climbing scene and then we won't die. <laughs> nice padded. How would you say your climbing abilities are, Mitch? Non-existent. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking forward to this. I can't remember uh, the last time I wore these. But you can be right here, just kind of do a, I'll walk up and you kind of just do a, a, like a nice pan out from the, and then you like get ready to climb and go for it. Okay, okay. So we're doing a wide shot, so Mitch actually needs to rock climb a bit. So we're really putting oh, his skills awesome to the test. Now. And go. Yeah, we got it. Wow, you went make pretty my, high, Mitch. Make my feeble attempts look like I'm a pro rock climber. <laughs> what is this position, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> it's called pro comfort. <laughs> yeah, go. Oh, holy cow, that's so good. Really? Oh Let's do it again. What you doing up there, Steve? Just trying to find a good angle for top down. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, that's a good one. What happened? Did you film that? <laughs> yeah. Nice. I just got the exposure. That is a, that's a, that's a loose rock. This is definitely not meant for bouldering. <laughs> you want it? Yep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> And there we go. Wow. <laughs> the sketchiest thing we've done in so far. I got a good angle. Go quickly before I have to go. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. 
Oh, that's banger. Ooh, that is a little hard there. <laughs> Ow! Those pads are not... They're pretty thin. <laughs> oh! I'm okay. That feels... That, I'm just gonna walk that one off. <laughs> Oh. Shaky ankles. <laughs> Just so Steven can get a sh nice close-up shot of the logo, I have to pretend or move my arms like I'm rock climbing. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, that was a sick ankle. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> a nice frame block that I accidentally got because I tripped. Okay. That looks pretty good. Whoa. Okay, so we just finished filming our last location, which was the bouldering. Everything went well. It's been like an eight-hour day of filming. We woke up at sunrise. It's been an intense day of adventuring around, but we are finally done. So I think I get the luxury of sailing or paddling the kayak all the way back to the beach. These guys have to carry all the gear back and I will have a nice, nice little paddle on the lake. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished shooting and we're about to dive into the edit, but I wanted to talk about some of the finer points of what it was like filming this homemade commercial. To start with, the lighting wasn't exactly what we'd hoped for. It was pretty overcast and we didn't have much of a sunrise at all. Originally, we'd envisioned the camping scene to have golden light streaming in through the trees, but we didn't have anything like that. So we often had to use a reflector to add some light into the shot. We decided to film this entire video handheld. This was to add some energy into the shots and make it feel a little more rugged than if we'd had that mechanical, artificial smoothness from a gimbal. Another thing to note is that we tried to frame out my head as much as possible. This was to try and keep it anonymous as to who was wearing the fleece. This keeps the focus on the fleece as it is the main subject. Anyways, that's all we've got for you guys this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. We want to encourage you guys to go out and try and make your own homemade commercial for your favorite brands. It was a lot of fun for us to go out and do this, so we think it would be a lot of fun for you guys too. If you try it out and you post it to Instagram, make sure you tag us at Productions underscore because we'd love to check it out. And if anyone from the North Face is watching this, don't be afraid to reach out because we'd love to work together. And as always, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>